So, a little backstory. Since my childhood, I've had my fair share of paranormal experiences, especially whilst sleeping. I've had one particular entity visit me in my dreams regularly for a year, back when I was living in a different house. I never saw that entity again once I'd moved from that particular house, although I am still in the same area. But last night I had the weirdest experience of my life. I was asleep with my wife next to me, and I was dreaming that she'd kissed me, then went under the bed sheets. I woke up and sat on the bed with my lower body covered with a blanket. I looked over to my wife, but she wasn't in bed with me. That was really weird. So if my wife isn't here, then who kissed me? While I'm thinking about this and realizing that she was actually in the living room, something started moving in the blanket. It felt like it was a snake or a tentacle, and it started wrapping around my legs. I kid you not. I was freaking out, but at the same time was very calm because everything was smooth and non-aggressive. It felt like something was cuddling with my legs. I slapped myself to make sure I was actually awake, and I definitely was. This thing moving and cuddling in the sheets was real. As it moved from my thighs to my shins, I literally saw the blankets move with it. I freaked out a little more, as I was still curious. I kept sitting on my bed while the thing moved to my shins, and I felt it wrap around both my legs and just stay in that position, like a ghost hug. So cute. I moved my foot up and down just to check if this is something like sleep paralysis, but it wasn't. My foot was fine, everything was moving, I was moving, that thing was moving, and I was wide awake. But now it was getting really freaky and I had to get out of it, so I slowly pulled the blanket off and nothing was there. It just slowly unwrapped itself and went away. I got up out of bed and went to my wife to tell her what had just happened, then went back to bed. I woke up the next morning, and here I am, still freaked out, hoping it was an act of love by whatever it was, and nothing else. This happened five years ago, so I might not be able to remember everything exactly, but here goes. Waking up in the middle of the night from some sort of nightmare, I instantly sat up in a moment of panic. Sitting there for a few seconds, I was trying to comprehend what was happening. That was until I suddenly heard a noise, of which sounded like a music box on the other side of my room. At first I thought I was just in another dream until it started getting louder and louder. That was the point when the realization that this was entirely real came into play, and I think that was the time I learnt what it felt like to almost soil myself from fear. I burst out of my room, running away as quickly as I could, but the further I got, the louder it became. It got to a point where it was almost unbearable, so I made a beeline towards my mother's room. Then. Something took me off guard, as I just abruptly stopped halfway down the hallway. That was where I think I let out a shriek so loud that I can still remember the feeling of pain in my throat. Believe it or not, like a little toddler, I literally screamed for my mum. Keep in mind that by now the music had grown to deafening levels. Then after what felt like ages, I heard the sound of sheets shuffling in my mother's room, then footsteps. The moment my mum left her room, the music instantly stopped. I then proceeded to cry like a toddler. When she asked me what had happened, I just stood there crying, then she ushered me into her room. I couldn't sleep in my own room for ages after that experience. In fact, I have had troubles with insomnia and anxiety ever since, and I still don't feel safe at night in my own room without listening to loud music with my earphones plugged in. Please let me know if anyone has ever experienced anything similar to this, because it is starting to scare me more than ever.
It's quite a big deal to assume that I've heard a demon. I don't know how to explain it, but when I did hear it, I just knew that it was. I was five or six years old at the time, which was back in 2010, 2011, and I was in Morocco on vacation, visiting my family. I live in a building that my dad and his brother built, and on the ground floor is where my aunt and grandfather lived, and also a woman with her husband and her baby. I live on the first floor, and my uncle, his wife, and two sons live in the second floor. I was at my aunt's house this one day, and she had told me to get home because it was already 12pm, and my mother would have soon finished cooking lunch. As I made my way there, I suddenly heard a voice calling me by my name. I naturally turned around in response to the call, but there was no one there. Now this scared me instantly, and not because no one was there, but because of the voice, as I'd never heard anything like it in my life. It wasn't something a human could ever imitate, not naturally anyhow. It could have been imitated with some sort of device I guess, but the only devices we had were televisions, so it would have been impossible. When I heard it, I just somehow felt that it wasn't human. But still wanting to be sure, I thought that maybe it could have been my cousins, even though I knew they were playing outside. But maybe I hadn't seen them come in. I looked down to the second floor, down the spiral staircase, but there was absolutely no one around. And also, the voice clearly came from behind me. It was now getting louder, angrier and closer, and was definitely coming from behind me. I'd gotten to my house so I went in and locked the door right away. I told my mum about it too, but she didn't believe me. She just said I must have dreamed it, and it was just my imagination. It was early 2020, and one evening my dad, brother and I were playing badminton when my brother suddenly tapped me on the shoulder and pointed down our driveway, towards the field nearby. And that's when I saw what looked like an extremely tall, white, thin, stick figure running through the farm field. It was running, from our point of view, from left to right in a slight diagonal direction and somewhat towards us. It's hard to explain, but it was running in a cartoony kind of way. It was taking overly exaggerated bounds, and it was running fast, and even though it was 700-ish feet away from us, I could tell it was unrealistically tall and fast. I remember watching it put one leg out in front of the other, and its arm doing that thing people do when they sprint. I couldn't see much detail because of how far away we were, but it looked like how you would draw a stick figure similar to the figures you see on the bathroom stalls, except giant and thin or like Slenderman had forgotten his suit. It quickly disappeared from sight when the trees that surround our property obstructed our view. Then both my brother and I ran down the driveway so we could keep our eyes on it. Now we stood at the end of our driveway looking around at all the farm fields, but it had gone. Even with how fast it was going, there was no way it could have gone over the horizon in the amount of time it took us to get a better view. Eventually, my dad joined up with us at the end of the driveway, and we told him what we'd seen. He thought it might have been a plastic bag blowing in the wind, except there wasn't any wind that day at all. That's why we were playing badminton. But it's also not uncommon to see garbage blowing across the farm fields out here, I suppose. What's everyone's thoughts on this? Is there an explanation for it, and has anyone else seen something similar? I grew up in Virginia near Winchester, Front Royal, in my parents' home in a small suburb. I was 19 years old at the time and visiting home from college, and this particular night my parents were both out. It was around 1.30am and I had every single light in the house on, except for the one in their room, which is where I was watching TV. Suddenly, as I sat there staring at the screen, it shut off, and the lights in the room shut off too but the hallway and downstairs lights remained on. 
There was no power outage, or else everything would have shut off as well, so I will never make sense of why it happened. Each individual light in the room had shut off, then in the corner of the room, I could see that there was this man, standing there, with soaking wet clothes that were dripping, and he had shoulder length hair and dirt all over his face. By the time I could blink, completely flabbergasted at what I was seeing, he was two inches from my face and standing over me, almost hovering. I was in complete shock and unable to move. He then whispered to me, I'm clean now. And I let out a horrified scream and closed my eyes because my legs felt paralyzed and I wasn't able to run. Opening my eyes, the room was still dark, but the man was gone and I was finally able to move and run towards the door. I will never make sense of this, nor will I ever be able to understand how the television had also turned off, or even what the purpose of the man's presence was, and what his words could have meant. It has been ten years and I still can't shake that event, and wonder if anyone has any ideas or similar stories to this that could help me shed some light to what exactly it was that I experienced. I live within a family of five, my aunt, uncle and cousin. We'd moved into our new house, and it is really old. Before we'd moved in, the landlady who owned the place told us that her dad had passed away in one of the top rooms, which is now my aunt and uncle's bedroom, and my room is right beside theirs. Now we're a superstitious family, so when we first heard this, we placed crosses around the room. We've all mentioned to each other how whenever we go into that particular room, we can feel a sense of uneasiness, like as if the room has a heavy atmosphere. Another thing to mention was that whenever I'm in my room alone, I can hear what sounds like someone running across my ceiling, like sprinting. Now above my room the roof is flat, so someone could actually run across it easily. But it can't be an animal, like a rat or a bird as they wouldn't have been capable of producing such a loud sound. In addition to this, I've been having a lot of experiences of sleep paralysis, which I'd never suffered before until moving to this house. On one occasion, my mother had told me that she'd heard our snack drawer open before now. Now our snack drawer has a pull lock on it, and once it's open, it makes a loud click to tell you that it's open. This happened before she'd left for work one morning, and no one was home. I was at school, my cousin and uncle and aunt were at work, and just as my mum was about to leave, she heard the snack drawer click open. My cousin, whom I'm really close with, snuck me outside the house once to go out to my friend's place. My mum was at work, so it was just my cousin, uncle and aunt inside the house, and all of them were downstairs, so they thought I was in bed asleep. Later on, they told my cousin that they'd heard a thud, as if something had fallen down upstairs, but thought it was just me going to the bathroom. But by that time, my cousin had already snuck me out of the house, so there was no one upstairs. To get home, my aunt takes a taxi, as no one in my family drives, and the past three taxi drivers, who by the way are complete strangers, had said to her that they get a bad energy off of our house. The one last thing to mention here also is that my aunt and cousin have been smelling smoke wherever they go. It's a non-stop smell of smoke, so we've decided that we'll all be sleeping in the living room and staying in twos until we move houses, which thankfully is in seven days from now. This is one of my many paranormal experiences, but this one in particular has been haunting me for years, and I feel the need to share it. It happened nine years ago when I was just 13 years old. Before I tell you what happened, you need to understand the layout of my former house. Now imagine the letter T and the inverted version of it, then join them together at the vertical line. The vertical line is the hallway, and there are two rooms at the top facing each other. At the bottom there is one bedroom, and the bathroom facing each other. 
then there is my room between them facing the hallway. Now I've always had a sleeping problem, so not unusually I was wide awake at 3am and I was watching the dark hallway like I would usually when I couldn't sleep. But on that particular night, I was more restless and felt like something was very wrong, like the feeling of uneasiness sat in the pit of my stomach. It was like I was waiting for something horrifying to happen, and it was inevitable. While my unease was getting stronger and stronger, and I could feel pain stemming from that dread, I suddenly saw my mum walking out of the bedroom and towards the bathroom area. I was overcome with relief, even just from hearing the noise of the bathroom door handle. It was old and loose so it made a jingling sound. I got up and out of bed to talk to her so that I could calm down, but when I walked past the door frame, I saw that the bathroom area was completely empty. I was frozen in place. Words can't even describe the horror I felt. I had goosebumps all over my body and I felt like cold water was being splashed down on my head. I stood there, unable to turn my back to the dark hallway, and glanced at the bedroom, and my mum and dad were sleeping peacefully, totally unaware of what had just happened to me. Somehow I found the strength to walk back to my bed and got it under the covers, all the while shaking from fear. I don't remember falling asleep, but maybe I passed out from fear. Even to this day, after nine years, I'm sure what I saw was identical to my mum. Her curly and shiny black hair was what made me feel sure it was her, but what I failed to realise was that my mum didn't have a completely white set of pyjamas, which is what that thing was wearing. As I said at the beginning, this is just one of my many things that have happened to me in that house, and it's not limited to that place either. It's like something is always following me and even my sister has witnessed it happening two or three times. I have no idea though. My block is all apartment buildings, and if you go up one more block you hit these ridiculous, huge fancy houses. The vast majority of the ones on the neighbouring blocks, I've seen families come and go, as well as lights going on and off. I'm an ultra runner and spent a vast majority of this Covid year running way too much around my neighbourhood, so I've been out at all hours, for hours at a time. There is this one house though that is situated on a corner, and I've only ever seen one person there at any one time. This person, a man, was cleaning the yard of leaves, weeds, and working to tidy it all up. So other than that, there is always a light on, on the topmost floor in the centre of the house. I'll attach a photo I took so you can see the house itself, but it appears to be a third floor or attic space. This light is on every night, and there are never any other lights on in that house. At first we thought maybe it was a rental, or was up for sale, but we've only ever seen that particular man once no realty rental signs, and the front gate is intermittently open or locked with no clear pattern or reason. Now since I live in an apartment, I have to park on the street, and like anyone who's lived in one spot for a few years, I've developed favourite places to park. One such spot is at the corner across from the aforementioned creepy house. As a general rule, I try to park in end spots to lessen the likelihood of someone who doesn't know how to parallel park, hits both ends of my car. Unnecessary detail, but it's the truth. I've parked here quite a few times, and have even parked on the side of the road with the house, and experienced sensor issues with my car when parked on that side. The other night I was parked across the street, doors locked, as I played around on my phone, and I kept seeing someone out the corner of my eye, standing at my car door. I've had people approach my car asking for money and a lighter before, so it wasn't too weird. But when I looked up, there was nothing there. I ended up doing some errands and parking in that exact spot later, this time with my husband in the car. I was showing him TikToks as we sat in the car for a minute, and once again I kept seeing someone, a black man around 6'2", based off where the top of the door of my car was in relation to his body wearing a short trench coat 
that hit about mid-thigh, and he had on either a fedora or one of those weird brimmed hats you'd see like back in the day. But when I'd look up, there'd be no one there. I'd look back down or turn my head to the passenger side, and boom, there he'd be. I didn't feel anything in terms of fear or wariness, or even peace, but I told my husband I'd finished showing him the stuff in the house, and we got out of my car and went inside. My car is now in a different spot on a different block, so I could avoid whatever was going on there. I'm a huge skeptic, but it happened several times throughout one day. I could have totally imagined things, I guess, but it was unsettling noticing details about said man, and makes it harder for me to believe my mind just made all that up. Here is the photo. I tried taking a less creepy shot, but the flash made it worse. The light I see is typically in that middle window in the top of the house, and this was taken around 5pm, shortly after the sun went down that day. I've been a lurker in this subreddit for a while and wanted to share a story about my parents' house. Now this story begins before I was born, and my dad told me this. My parents moved into an old country house, and my sister at the time was only four, and she would wake up in the middle of the night and sometimes go into my mum and dad's room to get into their bed. However, some nights my dad would wake up and see a little girl at the foot of the bed, wearing Victorian clothing and all in white. He would get confused and think it was my sister, so he would ask her if she was okay, blink, then the girl would be gone. He said this happened maybe at least ten times, but he wasn't afraid. My parents then renovated their bedroom, and once they had finished, my dad said he never saw the little girl again. When he told me this story, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't believe him, and thought he was just trying to freak me out. But here is the strange thing. Fast forward some time, and I'm 21 or 22, still living at home. My sister had moved out by now, so it was just me and my parents. My girlfriend at the time, now wife, was over, and we were chilling out watching Netflix or something, and I wanted to go get a drink. Just to note, all bedrooms are upstairs in the house. So I went and got my drink and some snacks for me and my wife and I paused the movie and went downstairs, leaving my wife alone. Now my room faces the stairs, and I had left the door open, so my wife is on her phone or whatever, waiting on me to come back, when she looked around. And what does she see? A small girl in white Victorian clothes, looking down the stairs. She was startled and said as soon as she saw her, she was gone. I came back upstairs and we continued to watch the movie but I was none the wiser, as she hadn't told me anything until a few months ago. I'm now 30 and have moved out of that house. My wife said that she hadn't wanted to tell me when I lived there, because she didn't want to freak me out. But she never knew my dad's story when she told me hers, so I told her what he had seen. I'm not gonna lie, that house always had a strange vibe, but hearing two stories like that just freaks me out. So a little background information before I get into this. I had a stepdad that really liked to make me scared, and at a young age, and would have me playing with Ouija boards with him, which would terrify me. Growing up through the years, he would continue with the ghost stuff and ask me if I could see or hear the little boy. I'm pretty sure he was just crazy actually, but anyway, something ended up happening to me that I cannot explain. My mum, thankfully, eventually divorced him after years of abuse, drugs and alcohol, and I was 18 years old when we moved out on our own after 15 years with this guy. The house was pretty old and in a rough neighbourhood full of crime. There were parts of the house where the electrics were a mess, and doors and rooms that if something was fixed it would soon break again, but that was all we could do at the time. My mum was single and working two jobs, and my brother and I were still in high school trying to get through it. 
Life had definitely gotten a little crazy, where we would see things written on the walls that would say, this house is haunted. And one time a pentagram appeared on the wall of the bedroom that I was sleeping in. But like I said, it was the best we could do at the time. Within the first week of moving in, I became very sick. I couldn't lift my head and was so dizzy. We couldn't find out what was wrong, even looking for a gas leak as the culprit. I felt so strange being in that house, and I'm still not convinced that going through all of that stuff with my stepdad when I was young didn't mess me up in a lot of different ways. I was always terrified of the dark and had bad nightmares, but things continued to get weirder. My illness though, whatever it was, eventually started to get better. But when I would shower, there was a closet that I always felt like someone was sitting in, watching me. I would come home and my closet door would be open. I even put things up against it and I'd still come home to stuff moved and the door opened again. Once when I was doing the dishes, a glass cake pan flew off the wall across the kitchen. The only place in the house that I actually felt okay was in the living room for whatever reason. The last thing that happened though is what really had me confused. One night my boyfriend at the time was dropping me off at home. The driveway was on the side of the house which was the side my bedroom was on. The curtains in my room were opaque and I decided for whatever reason that night to look up. But when I did this though, I saw a perfectly round circle like black mass in my window. I asked my boyfriend at the time if he'd seen it too but you could tell he didn't want to freak me out and just said, uh, yeah, I do. I had him walk me up to my room as I was so scared, but it wasn't there anymore, and I never saw it again after that. There were some nights that I would feel like my feet were being pulled as well. We had two cats and a dog at the time, and one of my cats disappeared. We never saw him again. I'm sure he got out because he didn't like it there, but it was still just a weird occurrence. My dog didn't really like it there either, and would always hide at my feet. We didn't live there much longer after that happened, but that is the scariest thing that has ever happened to me up until today so far. I have kids now, and they see things and tell me about it, and it is crazy. One of the things my son used to see is what he called the skeleton man, who would look at him through the windows outside my mum's house when we moved in with her after my divorce. He also saw a man in our bedroom. My mum explained to me that the bedroom we were staying in was the same room that an old man had passed away in. After we'd moved out of my mum's, he only saw the old man one more time in my bedroom in my apartment. He said, Mummy, why is there an old man right there? And that was the last I heard of him. He also pointed to the sky and repeated, He's coming, he's coming, when he was two years old. Now we live in a house that is 150 years old with my long-term boyfriend, and my daughter claims to see a person outside her room every night, tapping their foot. She said it's a green foot, and that she also saw a man peeking his head out of their bathroom a few weeks ago. She most recently told me that she doesn't look out of her window anymore, because when she does, there's a person with a hoodie and no arms that runs to our back door. It's difficult to believe her though, as she's a good storyteller, but she is scared of the footman she sees.